The black stainless steel Cuisinart TOB40 and custom classic toaster oven broiler is for you if you want an inexpensive medium-sized unit with a big capacity and no convection system. This oven doesn't have a timer which means it has a built-in stay-on timer for every function except for toast and bagel. However, it not having a timer can be a hit or miss depending on your preference. The auto slide rack, slide out crumb tray, and easy grip dials are nice touches to a simple toaster oven. We feel the investment for these features could have been better put into a convection system though. The black stainless steel Cuisinart TOB40 and custom classic toaster oven broiler has a simple and sturdy construction. For just $84.99, you'll get a medium sized unit with a big capacity, a slide out crumb tray, necessary accessories, and cooking functions plus a stay on feature. We hope this comprehensive video serves to provide you with fair assessment and helpful information in choosing your next toaster oven. We'll also share some advice on the DOS and don'ts of using this oven. Performance The Cuisinart TOB40N performed well in making toast and whole roasted chicken despite not having a convection system. However, the lack of convection resulted in uneven surface colors on our test dishes. Moreover, even though the oven runs on 1800W, it wasn't able to produce a good result in baking french fries. Toast During our toast test, the medium level on the toast knob was the best option scoring a 7.110. Decreasing the time resulted in too light and increasing the time resulted in too dark, although more even. A color Even surface color The medium toast level of the Cuisinart produced four pieces with a light golden brown color. However, without the convection fan, there were some brown areas on the top and dark brown spots. Thus, we gave it a 7.510. Taste. The first batch of toast had a slightly crispy outside and soft inside so we gave it a 7.10 for taste. Our head chef typed him determined they would go great with sandwiches. They could also go with soup, eggs benedict, and omelette but not ideally. Consecutive usability. The second batch had a brown color and some dark spots on the bottom. Interestingly, this was one of the few ovens where our chef preferred the second batch, thanks to its crispness being on point to the first batch. In the end, it got a 710 for consecutive usability. If you want the second batch to be the same as the first, remember to only turn the knob to 3 slash 4 to medium. Pizza The Cuisinart did an acceptable job of baking a 9-inch thick crust meat pizza with a score of 6.610. Cooking time Compare it to the recommended 10 minutes on the label. This oven was able to bake the pizza slightly faster at 9 minutes. However, that was only a 6.10 among the ovens in our pizza test. Crust The crust had some charred spots and a little bit of crispiness but was still soft overall so it got a 6.5 10. Toppings The toppings caramelized unevenly and some areas of the cheese got darkened. Nonetheless, they weren't dry so we were able to give them a 7.10. Taste After tasting the pizza, our chef gave it a 6.5 10. Whole roasted chicken The Cuisinart was able to comfortably fit a 3LB chicken for our whole roasted chicken test and scored a 7.410. Cooking time. The oven took 117 m to cook the chicken which was 17 minutes longer than the standard amount of time so it got a 6.310. Skin. The skin had uneven colors ranging from light golden to golden at the ends and it was soft throughout. This was most likely a result of the lack of a convection system and we gave it a 6.10. Doneness. The chicken was thoroughly cooked and the internal temperature was 181-183 dig F which was only a little higher than recommended by USDA so we gave it a 9.710. Taste The meat was soft and juicy deserving a 7.510 for taste from our chef. Baked French fries The Cuisinart left a lot to be desired in baking French fries with a score of 5.110. Cooking time The oven took 31 minutes to bake 12 oz of French fries to an acceptable color and done with our time limit being 25 minutes. It failed the cooking time criterion of our baked french fries test. Color The fries were able to get some colors, enough for a 6.510. Texture Even though the baking pan was large enough to spread the fries, they still weren't able to crisp up much and got a 6.10. Taste After tasting the fries, our chef gave them a 6.510. Design The Cuisinart TOB40N has a simple design but with some nice attention to detail. To accommodate its spacious interior, the oven uses 1800W. Build quality the Cuisinart has a sturdy construction and durable material. Its auto slide rack and slide out crumb tray show attention to convenience in a simple design. Although the easy grip dials are a nice touch, they feel flimsy at times. Usability The Cuisinart TOB40N doesn't offer much in terms of ease of use. While the control panel is simple, not having a timer means you'll need an external timer when using this oven. The oven posed no difficulties in cleaning but nothing to help either. 
ease of use. When the toasting cycle finishes, the oven will beep five times and turn off. After you finish using the oven, remember to turn the function knob off. Having no digital display, you can freely leave this oven plugged in and not worry about power consumption. Thanks to the safety hook for tray level two, you can partially slide out the baking rack or tray to reposition the food during cooking. However, this feature makes it quite tricky to remove the tray. Be careful as the oven can be quite hot to the touch after a long cooking time on high heat. According to the manufacturer, the Cuisinart has an always even shade control to monitor the temperature and adjust the timing to consistently toast to the shade selected every time. However, our test results showed no significant improvement even compared to the Cuisinart TOA60 of the same brand. Cleanability We clean the Cuisinart following our toaster oven cleaning guide. The oven has an internal and external coating plus no tricky nooks and crannies so it was easy to clean. During the roasting of a whole chicken, fat splattered everywhere inside the oven. Nonetheless, we were able to clean it all off, even on the gaps between the heating elements and internal walls. The slide-out crumb tray made it easy to clean up the crumbs, but we still had to tilt the oven to remove them all. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.